State. Alea Catherine Jones. Six, eight. Before we begin, I need to be certain that you are fully aware of what we are about to do here, El. The procedure will not erase any of your memories. It will only seal some of the mapped neural pathways, thus blocking certain memory clusters. As a result, the frequency of recall in your day-to-day -day life will be moderately diminished and you might struggle with long-term memory access. Are you completely certain that this is what you want. Two. Yes. Hey guys, it's Super G, and I'm here to bring you a game that you've probably never heard of. <laughs> it's called Aaliyah, uh, and the premise of this game is that apparently in um, the year 2073, uh, Earth was struck by a uh, really bad childhood disease, and Aaliyah's husband, uh, who's named Ethan, uh, joined an expedition to col uh, colonize a new planet called Solace. Uh, it, but Apparently something happened to where 13 years later, uh, Aaliyah joins the team to go investigate what happened to the expedition. So we're going to try this game out. I've never played it before. I have no idea what to expect. I also haven't seen anyone else play it. Uh, so again, if you want to find that newness, <laughs> you can always come to Super G. Uh, do me a favor guys subscribe uh, hit the blue button down below if you uh, find that you enjoy my gameplay and my commentary and the games that I play I would greatly appreciate it guys uh, follow me on Twitter as well I I'll always follow back I comment to everyone who comments on my channel uh, I just appreciate each and every one of you being a part of the Super G team uh, all right guys without further ado we're going to get started uh, I'm going to set my controls and everything which you guys will not probably won't see <laughs> but I'll talk about it as we play the game I'll let you know what buttons do what uh, just so you can be familiar with how the game is played and we'll go from there so let's get to it in the year 2093 humanity's hope is dwindling some 20 years ago a neurological mutation broke out causing uncontrollable rage in every earth every earth born child. No real cure was found except for an intervention that pacifies the children, but it also makes them cold and lifeless. The pandemic set off a demographic crisis, making the colonization of New World an urgent necessity. Luckily, an Earth-like ex exoplanet with an achievable distance from the solar system had been re uh, recently discovered. Pooling volunteers from around the globe, a first-of-a-kind interstellar spacecraft was built and sent to colonize a yet ex unexplored planet. The gargantuan ship was named Pilgrimage embodying the hopes of all of the humanity. Everyone's dismay shortly after the successful arrival pilgrimage went on the total radio silence were caused. It remains a mystery. 13 years later, research starship RSS recovery arrives on the site to investigate the fate of the pilgrimage. I made it! <laughs> I didn't know if I was going to be able to read it before it all went away. Before we begin, I need to be certain that you are fully aware of what we're about to do here, El. But I have to hear you say this out loud. Yes, I agree. Forgive me, but I must repeat this one last time. The procedure will not erase any of your memories. It will only seal some of the mapped neural pathways, thus blocking certain memory clusters. As a result, the frequency of recall in your day-to-day -day life will be moderately diminished mm. and you might struggle with long-term memory access. You said that at the beginning. Are you completely certain that this is what you want? 
I'm not certain of anything, Ollie. Are you? I cannot guarantee that these pathways will, will never be reopened. I am aware of that. Is your decision final? Yes, it is. Please, state your name. River Alea Catherine Jones. When the count to ten, you will start to relax, and at the end you will feel entirely void. One. Oh boy. Three. Four. Five. Does this mess with you guys' head as much as it messes with mine? That's like, uh, <laughs> Oh no. Whoa. Full life of promises. Yeah, no, I must have dozed off. It's okay. When did you arrive? A couple hours ago. How's the baby doing? Smart bracelet. No battery, okay? Belly. Why would I want to do that? Oh, I'm pregnant. He is asleep, just like his mommy. How about you? Colleagues over three weather. Uh, let's ask about the colleagues. It turned out that someone on board of the shuttle Europe allegedly came down with a new flu. So now they're stuck in the docking bay for decontamination. How is Jan August? He's in there too, poor sucker. But I met Olivia Tambor. Oh, you've met the boss lady. How's she in person? She's tiny. No way. I was surprised too. Still just as creepy as on the bicons. We'll get along fine though. I can feel it. Ethan Emmanuel knows women best. Basically, a completely new station using Orbit 2 as a backbone. You can't really tell that it used to be something else before. This Watanabe guy is truly a genius architect. 
Big words. I'm telling you, if we had this level of functionality and comfort on Mars Orbital, we wouldn't have left. You know that's not why we left. I'm only kidding. If anything, you would say the place is lacking a soul. Is the storm still wreaking havoc? Let me look. Ugh. Earth gravity still sucks. The light's on. Oh, nice. Yeah, looks like it'll rain forever. Is the perfect time for her to move in. <sighs> oh, he kicked. <laughs> what does that mean exactly? Hello, baby. Wait, he did it again. I love you all. <laughs> we love you too, Ethan. I'm missing you so much. I only left this morning. It feels much longer. I'm always with you alone, even from above. Very funny. How's Frankie doing? You know, he's acting out. Hang on, I'll go check on him. Okay, so we gotta go check on him. What do we have here? We were able to interact with it a moment ago, and now I cannot. This is it. Now it's time to move on. So, can I grab that? Frankie? I'm guessing that means he's not in his Go room. Away. Oh! Your father's on. Do you want to say hi? No. You heard that? Yeah. He's locked himself in again. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I installed the parental access pack last night. Maybe it's a good time to try it out. You mean I can invade my son's privacy whenever I want to? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Let's give it a shot. What do I do? I already sent you an invite. You gotta go to the mainframe and allow the app in your account. In the study? That's two flights of stairs. Can't I do it from the risk com? Not the first time. Do you know how much I weigh? A little exercise never hurt anyone. I'll tell you about exercise. You just get back here. <laughs> wow. Go to the study room and accept Ethan's parental access pack invite. Emergency shelter mode activated. Turn the light on. Yeah, this is pretty cool, man. I, I I'm digging this. Uh, we just have to. That says spa. They even have names on them. It's enough button to to, uh, to view objective. Uh -oh. Shit! Power went out again. New place, new problem. Starlight. Our new but sadly not very generator may need a simple reboot. And be careful in the basement stairway from the kitchen store. Once you're there, I'll give you specific instructions. Okay. Thanks, Moonshine. You're welcome, Starlight. <laughs> Again, Moonshine. be careful going down. Here's a soundtrack for you. Oops. Sorry. Not that yeah, one. Yeah, I don't think that's the right one. Uh... Yeah, there. Yeah, let's go with something else. I have to find the kitchen. Is this it? Huh? Okay, it's back Are here. You managing okay? Sure. Just being careful, as ordered. <laughs> this is the kitchen. This is looks like the storeroom. Press and hold the R two uh, or the cross button to grab objects. You have to be right on it. Basement key. Okay. Now what is this? Are these just light panels on the floor? It looks that way. I'm trying to find these stairs that he's talking about. Uh, what was that? Is 
upset the generator in the basement. I'm trying to find my way down there. He said off the kitchen. Didn't he say off the kitchen? And I'm not seeing any stairs that lead down. Am I missing something? Let me check and check in. Here, there's, there's. Oh, wait, what is this? Okay, uh, L2, wait a minute. Press L2 to circle button while holding an object to throw it. Well, I don't, do I need to throw it? <laughs> do I need to? I can't run at the moment. Well, no, I don't imagine I can. I'm, try I'm trying to grab this thing. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, what is this? This looks like a door access. There we go. Okay, let's head down. We have to be careful. She's pregnant, so we have to, you know, take our time here. Uh, where is the generator? Is it Ethan, over here? I'm... Oh, of course, the battery dies at the best possible moment. I can't see anything. Activate. Okay, awesome. Now we can see. What is this exactly? <sighs> okay, to the study. Francis? Can I open any of these? Trying to trying to figure what is this? I grabbed something from th through the door. I have no okay. It's like a chess piece. All right, I'm going to take myself upstairs and. Do what our husband asks. Said to... Let's turn some lights on, man. It's, it's awfully dark in this house. Cool, cool to have a generator, though. Nice. It's a smart home. <laughs> it's a smart house. Everything turns on. It's all... Oh, that's, that's pretty nifty, guys. That is really nifty. There's a phone here. Breaking news, seven year old Texas girl attacks, uh, nearly kills mother by Michael Sebastian Davison. The seven year old girl last night unexpectedly attacked and nearly killed her mother in Austin, Texas. The incident occurred about 7 p.m. at the family home during dinner with the girl's parents. The child, whose name is being withheld, grabbed a kitchen knife during an argument and stabbed her mother. It happened really fast, she sa uh, said the father, who has requested anonymity. Uh, my daughter didn't want to eat. All of a sudden, she grabbed a kitchen knife and went after my wife. Thanks to the immediate reaction of the father, who transported his, uh, his wife to the nearest hospital, where emergency surgery was done, the mother is presently in stable condition. Dr. Uh, Eva Robinson, a psychologist who spoke with the child this morning, said she was in shock and did not answer any, any of her questions. She didn't say a word. She wasn't crying. I'm not sure if she realized what she had done, Dr. Robinson reported. Uh, nationwide, this is the third act of unexpected violence among children this week. Monday, a seven-year-old Boston boy bashed his, mother's, his baby brother's head against a wall in the family's home and violence erupted Tuesday in a New York City first grade classroom. Uh, 
Uh, hey L, please, 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 don't forget to take your folic acid. Remember, every dose is very important for the baby. If you don't remember where they are, the last time I saw them, they were somewhere in the bedroom. Kisses, Ethan. Uh, I can't send you a postcard from here, but I hope this will do. And let's see, from Toshi. Uh, for, a clear, clear, uh, for a cleaner home, uh, ladies put your shows to the smart robots, smart robots stay hold. Is a, is a necessity in every home. While presently there are many robots on the market, Stayho is the only true self-charging maintenance-free version. Uh, though the wonders of modern science and the revolutionary process of the Emotion Engine 8970, uh, Stayho is able to reach and clean the hardest to reach corners of any home. Buy it now uh, from our web place. Hmm. Okay. I'm making my way there, guys. I, I promise. But it's, uh, it's my... Um, in my channel art, it says that I am your complete uh, gaming specialist, which I am, which means uh, that I explore everything. So what is this? It's just a statue. But I can grab it for whatever reason. Oh, this looks really nice. Spa! Let's see, there's the garage. Okay, I'm trying to find this this study here. Uh, is this it here? Okay, what was it? Four four seven seven or four three seven seven? Uh, let's try four four seven seven first. No, that's not that's not what I wanted. I know that's not right. Four. I guess I should check my info pad for the code. Four. Seven, seven, no. Then she also said four, three, seven, seven. Neither one of them are right. All right, check her info pad. Where would that be? Info, uh, find your info pad and look for the study's door code. Where would be my info pad? Did I take that? See, it's hold on. I'm I'm just I'm trying <laughs> I'm trying to get the hang of this, guys. Hmm. Maybe that's it, maybe it's doing what it's supposed to do. Info pad. Where, where could that be? Over here, maybe. No, that's uh, spotology. I'm not sure what that is. No need to sit down. Info pad. Look for a study. Find your info pad. Where would my info pad be? I didn't see it up here. I don't imagine it being in the garage. We can't access this yet. Info pad. Well, I guess the first place we should look is upstairs, eh? We were in a nursery. Let's see. This is our room. Lights on, please. What is this? Aaliyah, the paradigm shift. Hmm. This, the whole table lit up. Did you see that? Oh, it's because for the drawer? Why is this in here? Don't want or need that. There's nothing on either one of those. There's a bracelet there. Activate mirror. Hey! Whoa! Hmm. What the? That's okay. That's telling a little bit. I'm looking for it. 
It's a mug. Okay, I can take it. Okay, uh, let's see. Why the Y chromosome? Do you know it's possible for a woman to have Y chromosome Y chromosome genes in her body? That's the case with Sia, who's more than heartbroken when she gets out of a relationship with an unimaginable and a strange Martin. She finds peace and happiness in her next partner, Kaylin, uh, with whom she has a son, uh, Kaloyan. The mother-son relationship com is complicated because Kaloyan's disease, Aliens Syndrome, is a very rare illness that affects only 1% of the people on Earth and is characterized by a lack of interest in both food and communication with people. Uh, this, the diseased do not feel the need to build traditional relationships with other people. Family and friendships are not important to them. The syndrome often leads to death by starvation. Where the parents manage to save their son with a Y chromosome, save or destroy Saya's life. Interesting. Is that folic acid? Still not finding this info pad though. I get this bottom drawer here. No. No. I don't imagine it would be in here, would it? This game looks amazing, though. So shower here. We took a shower. High tech, high tech shower with the. Uh... Oh, these these open. Nothing. I don't need that. Bandages, bandages. Yeah, I don't need that either. Or toilet paper. I wasn't able to tell. Nothing and nothing. Where could this info pad be? I'm starting to get the hang of this just a little bit. You know, it's really strange. Out of all the places, I would think that it would be in her room, you know? Uh, your style beyond the borders, alien excuse explorer. That's interesting. We checked both drawers here. There's nothing in either one. Nothing on the table. I activated the mirror once already. There's nothing in this drawer but some type of snake thing, which I have no idea what that is. These are the shoes and the dress my mother bought me for graduation. She wanted me to look elegant, but instead I looked awkward. Or at least <laughs> I felt that way. Wow. The next time I wore them was at my mother's funeral. Hmm. Oh, why am I still holding on to these clothes? I don't know. It's kind of hypocritical of me to nag at Ethan about his hoarding. Alright, let's open these. Nothing? Okay. Enough a dress. I can't take it though. Another dress? I wonder if that uh if that info pad was what was in here. Was that what was on the table here? Or no? No, I think it's an info pad. It just plays music. All right, so I'll keep looking. Webcam? This in the room? Space Cola? <laughs> wow. And this looks like Mr. Snuffleupagus. Alright, guys. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to jump cut uh, until I 
find out where this info pad is. So when I find it, uh, I'll be back. Oh. Another thing I did, guys, is that I added... Um, there's a setting where I added the... Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. I think... 4472, that's it. Did we not read this before? I don't I don't remember seeing that when we first opened this. 4472. Okay. Well we know what it is now. Um Yeah, let's go ahead and go back upstairs. What do you guys think about like smart homes like this where the lights come on only when you enter the room? I guess it'd be no different if you walked out the room and, cl and turned the lights off, right? All right, it was uh, 4472, I think is what I saw. 447. Rats! Come on! 44. Four. You have to hold, you have to hold it there because if you let it go, it will, um, It'll, it'll go back to neutral in the middle. All right. Okay, let's see now. Interesting question, though. Why? To go may affect the moon, moonstones. <laughs> um, oh, this is so cool. This is a uh, new sun. A holographic uh, imagery of... Uh, what is this? Turn that on? Okay. Turn this on. Uh, hello, Earthlings. Your friends at the Space Agency have launched a new program, Kids in Space Club, which features up-to-date information, photos, videos, and state-of-the-art games. I'll help you learn about the final frontier. Join immediately and receive a complimentary hyperspace suit in your choice of color. <laughs> okay, man. But yeah, you see I added the reticule here. To help make uh, aiming a little bit better. There's nothing, nothing with that. To turn this light on. Okay. All right. Let's go over to the desk here. Okay. Fingers crossed. Home care. Ah, nice. Smart bracelet is charging. All right, his news feed, uh, messages, pictures, house control. I'm gonna do a news feed first. Uh, let's see. Uh, breaking news: New Copenhagen first grade class erupts in violence by Adela Anderson. So this is more information about students or children who are acting out. Uh, generally, I would read all of this. Um, but I'm going to allow you guys to, to read it. <laughs> it says, uh, what do you think we should do to protect the children? Shut down the home AI, buddy, and communicate with your kids. I completely agree with that. Completely agree with that. Uh, we have messages here. Hey, L, when you click on the link, when you click on the link at the bottom of the message, you'll execute an embedded override function in the home hub and it will unlock all the doors in the house. Uh, please go and check on Francis, though I know it's hard for you with that huge belly. Okay, all Francis, doors unlocked. Let's see if you can escape your mother so easily. <laughs> uh, there's another page here. Can't turn it. Okay, hey, Ali, uh, Ale who are you? Hmm? Tell mommy who you are. <laughs> Attention will find your baby's you most recent thunder? ultrasound. No, to Norse, not like you. You will be light, Lucia. Hmm. Lucia. I remind. Okay, I remind to take extra good care of yourself during this pregnancy. Don't forget to relax more and make sure uh, to take your vitamins every day. Kindest regards, it's her doctor, of course. We got pictures. Oh, that's nice. Okay. 
House Control. All right, well, I guess we're going to go check on uh, what we have here. What is this? Go to Francis's room and wake him up. Get up, man. All right, guys, let's head up there. Uh, I think once we get up there, though, I'll take my first break. Alea? Yes? You'll give me a heart attack, love. <laughs> Sorry, my battery went out and a Frankenstein-like monster showed up, but I killed it with a smile. And I spilled my moon hat because of You can't spill stuff in zero-G. Such a smart-ass belongs in the study. They already <laughs> finished the job in the study. Uh, let's go with Ethan. What are you up to now? Not much. Just sitting here, enjoying a moon hat and while the others are stuck in decon and thinking of you. So basically floating around in zero G. Oh yeah. And also, I'm naked. Right now, the idea of zero G feels way more attractive than the naked you. I'm sorry, darling. <laughs> How about both? Sure, I'd be right over. As soon as I manage the stairs. You're not going to see me coming, little man. <laughs> yeah, he won't. Uh, but this is this will be where we take our first break, guys. Um, I'm, I, I'm going to find out where this goes. Um, right now, we're communicating with Ethan. So clearly, whatever is uh, is going to happen hasn't happened yet. Uh, but we'll find this out, uh, I guess, in the upcoming uh, episodes. Uh, but for right now, guys, this is uh, Super G. I'm going to take a break. Do me a favor if you uh, want to see more of this game. Uh, uh, hit the like button to let me know that you want to see more. Uh, subscribe if you enjoy my commentary and my gameplay. And uh, definitely follow me on Twitter. Uh, I will give you a follow back. I believe in community. <laughs> All right, guys, it's Super G. I'll check back with you guys again soon. Later.